It's Oscar, thanks for clicking. So in this video, I'm going to show you a cold email campaign that literally sucks ass in every possible aspect, but it still helped me sign eight clients uh, and it actually booked 21 meetings. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the campaign, the exact stats for the campaign, the exact copy we used in the campaign. Um, and at the end, I'm going to explain why it worked and why it probably wouldn't work for you even if you ran the exact same copy and had the exact same offers. So in front of you is just the campaign here. Uh, you can see the analytics so that you know we actually ran this campaign. Uh, you can pause the video here if you want to check any data or whatever you want to do. But here is just essentially in Smartly, then I can update this because some people still doubt me. Now it's zoomed in on these dates, but yeah, you get the idea. This is the campaign that we ran. So let's take a closer look at the stats for this campaign. So let me just do this and maybe we can zoom in a bit here. Yeah. So leads contacted 1,427. The bounce rate is 7.5%. We had a higher bounce rate than reply rate. We were super lazy when creating this campaign. And I shouldn't really promote this because it, well, looks bad at, uh, on me, right? Um, this is basically a tutorial of what not to do, but I still think this is interesting, so that's why I'm making the video. 7.5% bounce rate, which is 107 emails we sent, bounced, which is horrible. You should stay under 1% bounce rate, and we, well, exceeded that by quite a bit. Reply rate, 7.22%, which is 103 replies. Again, more bounces than replies. Positive reply rate. 56.31%, which is 58 out of 103 replies were positive. Booking rate, 1.47%, which is 21 meetings in total. And I can just show you here the two events we used uh, in this campaign. Uh, this was for Outbound Academy. So you can see here two um, events selected here. Yeah, Outbound Academy, 20 minutes, 50 minutes. 21 events created. Uh, this was only for the cold email campaign. And uh, here you can see the stats for that. Closing rate, 38%, which means eight clients closed. And now let's look at the revenue collected. Total, $7,400 in revenue collected. Um, of this, 2000 is monthly recurring revenue. So we signed four, or sorry, we signed five $400 um, monthly retainers um, or subscriptions and 5,400 of these of this was one-time fees. So that means uh, three 1,800 packages, right? Now let's look at the copy for a second here because I think this is interesting. Um, hey name, we just launched a program for instantly and smart lead users. It reveals our systems for booking 2.8 thousand meetings, signing 290 clients and adding 1 million in revenue exclusively through cold emails. To help you decide if it's relevant, I recorded a short personalized walkthrough of the program. Would you be open to taking a look? Thought you'd be interested since you've followed me for a while, right? So this is the copy that we used. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I typically like, I dislike this copy. I don't like this copy at all. First of all, it states the fe uh, features here. So we launched a program. If I receive this email, that would be the moment I exit out, right? Um, systems, I don't know. I just don't like the email. It's long. There's no clear lead magnet. There is, yeah, um, not the best copy that I've written, so to speak. Um, and let's look at the video stats as well, because you see here we said if you want to look at the video. Now the video stats here, here you can see the total, 150 views in total. Now we separated this, so we had this Elliot booking here, that's for the follow-ups. So that video was sent in the follow-ups, and we can see that 100, it got 114 views, 17 call to action clicks, hence like lower conversion here. Oscar booking, this video was used um, to positive replies. So we sent this video to people who responded positively to the initial email. Hence, lower views, but much higher conversion rate. So 36 views, 11 call to action clicks. Um, the videos, 
essentially what I'm trying to say here, the videos also sucked. This is a very bad conversion rate <laughs> for videos. Um, and yeah, just horrible stats, honestly. Now to the point here, why did it work? It would have worked a lot better if we put more effort into it and if we actually did our routine setup. Um, but we haven't simply, we simply didn't have time to fix this campaign. We've had so much going on with Vina and creating the school and everything. So we haven't had time to really dig into this campaign and optimize it. Um, so we've just let it run basically and burnt basically all of our domains. But why still, despite the bad copy, despite the bad video, despite the high bounce rate, why did it still perform? Here's the truth. It's just simply because people trust me. That's the truth. Um, the only people who responded, the only people who, or not exactly, but the only people who responded positively, the only people who booked a meeting, they already knew about me. So this video here is not a lesson about cold email. This video is a lesson about personal brand and why you should take it seriously. Because... A lot of people seem to think about personal branding as the direct benefits. They only look at, for example, when they start posting content, they expect it to be lead generation, right? LG lead generation, right? That's what they expect. So when you start posting content on LinkedIn or YouTube and you don't get any clients or you don't get any leads, then you're instantly like, well, this shit doesn't work. I'm going to stop posting content. But what you fail to understand here, what you miss in this equation here is the lead nurturing. So LN, the lead nurturing. Because when you post content here, say on like LinkedIn, and this right here is a piece of content, this right here is your ideal customer persona, like this is your prospect. Every time they like this content here, so like, every time they like this content, then your pool of potential clients get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually when you're at my point, you know, we just scrape post likers that I've had for um, like the last, I can't really recall, probably like four months. And the size was like 2000. And eventually when you reach that point, then you have this big pool of people that you can reach out to. And these people, they are likely to trust your brand. Um, you as a person, they've likely like viewed your YouTube videos as everyone in there had done. And these people hadn't reached out to me directly, right? They've seen my content a few times, most of them. They've liked my content. They watched some of my videos. They've never contacted me. And this is where like most of the people, most of the clients I sign through YouTube and LinkedIn, they are not like, it's not like they're coming to me. No, I contact them. I meet them halfway. So they see my content, they like it, but then I meet them here. So you need to meet them halfway. Use it as a magnet. Your content is a magnet. And as soon as they engage with a piece of content, then they're in your pool, right? And then you can reach out to them and you can do like me here. Have a 7.5% bounce rate, a bad copy, a terrible lead, lead magnet, and still get clients consistently. And this is the true power of building a personal brand. It is not about the lead generation. It's not about the direct benefits. It's about the lead nurturing. So this is the, this is the truth, right? And this is why if you copy my emails um, in this specific instance here, of course, this doesn't work if I reach out to people like that's not in my industry, right? But that's why if you look at like Charlie Morgan or these big creators in the um, agency space and they show you the exact copy that they're using. Even if you copy that copy straight off the bat, take everything, even make it better, add personalization. 
it probably wouldn't even work one tenth as well as it does for them. And it's because it's their pool. Everyone in here knows who they are. At least most of them do. So this is like sort of the, um, the ugly truth, but it's something that everyone can achieve. It's not difficult to build your personal brand. It's not difficult to, you know, get followers and post content. You just need the right systems to do it. You need the right schedule to do it. Um, you need to hire the right team members to do it. Um, but once you get the ball rolling, it's super simple. It, it's not a lot of effort, but it will skyrocket your reply rates and everything um, regarding like outbound, right? Um, so that's the lesson for this video. It's not about cold email. It's about the brand. And I wanted to share this uh, because I believe in transparency. And uh, yeah, I don't want to brag like this is an amazing campaign we ran because it sucked ass, <laughs> right? Um, but I still got results. So if you want to, you know, create your, uh, create cold email campaigns, write great copies, um, everything, and also build your personal brand, then I have a link in the description. It will take you to a VSL where I will try to sell you my service. Um, you can look at it. If it sounds interesting, then simply book a meeting and uh, we'll take it from there. Cheers.